Hello, this is the fourth video in uh, multi-part uh, layering instructional videos. Uh, I'm going to take and uh, examine a little more advanced topic now, and this is really about how the layers interact with each other when you have multiple different types of, of layers interacting together. So what I've got here is pre-set up is uh, I've got a simple bars effect here on a tree and I've got a uh, intensity overlay on a um, curtain effect here. So when I put the two of these together, I get a parting bars effect. So this is pretty interesting all by itself. But uh, So now what I want to do is, as I've shown in other uh, videos, is I want to add a fade on top of this. So this is going to introduce a little bit of a uh, twist to the way things have uh, been done before. So now I add on the pulse, as you have uh, probably would imagine I would do. And then I'm going to add this to the um, intensity overlay layer. And then I'm going to bring the two of these together. Now what you'll notice here is, is I have, I've lost my parting in here, right? The, this is actually getting brighter in the middle here. This is not exactly what I wanted. I wanted, the, I wanted this effect but I actually wanted it to be a ramp at the same time. Well, what this is really the problem here is because this uh, uh, pulse effect and the curtain are both in the intensity overlay layer. So these two are getting mixed together and then applied to this as a singular um, uh, brightness type effect. Well, that puts the brightness of this in here in the darkness of this one and commingles them together. It's not really what I want. So what I really am going to do then is I'm going to add another layer in here. And I'm going to add in another intensity overlay layer and I'm going to call this one effect brightness. And you can call these whatever you want, but this is and um, from this point, I'm going to actually just take and drop, drag this one down here. It, the key thing is it just needs to be above the uh, final overlay in, in layering here. So I just need to keep track of which is, uh, you know, stacked here appropriately. And I probably will only have to have one configuration for per sequence like this. This will work in many different situations. So this is the overall brightness that, I, that I'm going to use here for the... Um, uh, entire um, part of the um, sequence. And this is an individual effect brightness piece. So I'm going to drop this in this layer. This one stays in the intensity over layer. This separates the two of these into two different layers. This one is higher than this one, so it's going to act upon it first. So then we drop it across these and take a look at these. And now we see that I have the parting in there like I initially wanted. And the fade is also occurring as well, or the ramp on. So now I have both of these. So I had basically had to separate those out into two separate layers so that they would act independently of each other instead of mixing with each other. The key thing to remember is, is that the first thing that two effects in the same layer do is they mix together and then are applied as a uniform change to whatever else is is in the in the stacking with them. So this is a lot more advanced, requires a little more thinking. And this also still works too, that if I actually take this and uh, stretch this out because I have um, you know decided that I want um, a set level on the on the tail end of this of some kind here, you know, where I transition this like this. So now this brightness still works across all of those in that uh, light there. You can see that that slowly walks across there. It gets red, and then it, the, the brightness finishes up there at the end of it. It's kind of hard to see there at the tail end, probably in the video, because we're close to the to the total brightness here. So if I whoops, I screwed that up. Let me undo that. So if I actually take this and spread it out a little further here, then you'll actually be able to see a little more of the ramping effect there on the, on that actual red. You can see it get a little bit brighter there at the end. So that way I can use this as a more global brightness effect across many effects and then this is a more localized brightness effect in here on this particular matching of this effect using using this other effect to, to affect the brightness of this one in a pattern type manner. 
So there's a, another more advanced topic of layering, talking about how the layers work together. And uh, thank you for listening.